The calendar can also be a useful. You can mark dates on a calendar just by date. Describe the event, let's say Edmodo training begins. You can pick a date or it could be a date range. And then you can choose a group, a student or teacher, whoever you wanted to send it to. What it does is it appears on their calendar. So if you send an event to yourself, it'll appear on your calendar. If you send an event to a group, they'll be able to view it on their calendar. They don't get a notification. But if I send something to the Edmodo training group, like you guys, and hit create, it'll appear when you go into your calendar, whatever group you're a part of. So now say I wanted to add something to another group. Just say it's an iPad user group meeting. And I want to send it to the iPad user group. Notice when I click on a letter, it comes up with different groups. And as you go further, it narrows it down, which is a nice feature. You can go back in and edit an event on your calendar. Not someone else's event that they created that might have gotten added to your calendar. But if you add it, you can go back in and click and edit it. You can also delete it if you want to get rid of it. So I want to delete it. Do I want to delete the event? Yes, it's gone. I want to add it again. I click on the date. Edmodo training begins. Let's capitalize the B. I want to send it to my Edmodo training group. And I click create. That's basically all there is. You can print your calendar, you export your calendar. To move through the calendar, you can change the month, you can change the year. You can also filter your events by groups. So if I click on the blended learning group, I don't have any events. If I click on Edmodo training group, it shows my Edmodo training begins. I click on my Edmodo user group, it shows nothing because I didn't have anything with the Edmodo user group. The iPad user group, there's the iPad user group meeting. Pretty straightforward.